Hi traders and coders, my name is Matthew from PinescriptMastery.com and today's lesson I'm going to address a question I got from a student about how to split long alerts and short alerts. So Pinescript only allows you to use the alert condition function in your script once. So if you have users who want to split up long alerts from short alerts and only have one of those alerts come through in your script, then how do you achieve that? Well, I'll show you how to do that in this lesson. But just really quickly, I just want to let you know that this information was recorded for my Pinescript Mastery course over at pinescriptmastery.com. And if you want to learn more about Pinescript, I have a free basics course over there. And I also have a mastery course, which covers everything that you need to know about Pinescript in order to create your own complex indicators and strategy scripts. So if you're interested in that, go and check that out. Otherwise, stick around and I'll show you how to split your trading alerts. Alright, so here we are with the blank script. All I've done is change the title and set overlay to true. The first thing we're going to do here, as always, is get our user input. We need two inputs here to demonstrate this example. We need to get whether the user wants to trigger long alerts and whether or not the user wants to trigger short alerts. So I'm going to create a new variable here called long alerts. And this is going to be a Boolean input variable. So we're going to use the input function. I'm going to give it a title of trigger long alerts. I'm going to give it a type of input dot bool, short for Boolean. And I'm going to give it a default value of true. And next up we have short alerts. And we're going to do exactly the same here. Just create a new input uh, function call. I'm going to call this one, title this one trigger short alerts. And give it a type of input dot bool as well. And a default value of true as well. So by default, both long and short signals will be triggering alerts. The next thing we need to do is detect our candlestick patterns or our trading setups, uh, whatever it is that you want to trigger your alerts. So in today's example, it's not about detecting the candlestick patterns themselves. So I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. And all we're going to do is detect bullish candles and bearish candles. So a bullish candle is any candle that closed higher than it opened. And a bearish candle is any candle that closed lower than it opened. So these would be our simple alert triggers for today. But you could apply this uh, information, this logic to any alert triggering condition, no matter how complex or simple. So next up, let's plot some shapes to the chart so we know that we are detecting these candlestick patterns. Let's plot a shape when we get a bullish candle. Let's give it a color of color.green. Let's give it a style of shape dot arrow up since it's a bullish candle and it's going up and we'll give it a location of location dot below bar geez i'm doing a lot of typos today sorry about that so now we can pretty much just copy and paste this entire line of code uh, paste in our bearish candle condition change the color to red change the arrow to arrow down and change the location to above bar so we can now get rid of our plot close function every pine script uh, indicator script that you write needs at least one output plot function to your chart and plot shape will suffice. So now if we save the script, add it to our chart, we'll be getting uh, green arrows underneath bullish candles and red arrows above bearish candles. So we are detecting our signals correctly. Let's now trigger our alerts and create a new section here called trigger alerts. And I'm going to use the alert condition function. And now this is where we need to split our alerts. So what we need to do here is because we can only use one alert condition per script, we need to find a way to split our bullish alerts and our bearish alerts so that when the user comes up into the settings menu and turns one of these off, they no longer trigger alerts to their phone or their chart or whatever they've got it set to. So the way we will do this is we'll open a pair of parentheses here and we'll say, did we get a bullish candle? If we did, this alert will trigger, but we also need to combine our long alerts Boolean condition. So if we say and long alerts is set to true, then we will get a bullish candle alert sent to our phone or our charts. Next up, we need to detect if we had a bearish signal. So here we'll write or then open another set of parentheses. Did we get a bearish candle? And if we did get a bearish candle set up triggered to our chart, then we only want to trigger our alert if our short alerts boolean is set to true. So here we'll say and short alerts. 
So that's it. We've now split our long alerts and our short alerts using this syntax here. So now this condition will be checked. If both of these booleans are true, then an alert will be triggered. Otherwise, if both of these conditions are true, an alert will also be triggered. So unfortunately, because the alert condition requires constant variables for the title and message, you cannot customize the title and message at the moment. So you can't say you got a long alert or you got a short alert based on one of these conditions. Hopefully in PineScript version five, that'll become a feature, but for now we are stuck with the way this works. And so we'll give this a title of just alert and a message of alert for ticker. So PineScript will replace this ticker tag with the name of the market you're trading. So in this case, New Zealand dollar against Japanese yen. So this will be turned into NZDJPY. But we'll leave that as it is for now. Save the scripts and we're done. So now in order to use this properly, what you need to do is come up to the settings menu. And if you only want to trigger long alerts and you do not want to trigger any short alerts, you need to untick this box, click OK, and then set your alert. So now if you come up to the condition box and select our script name, whatever settings you set here will only be triggered for long trades. And so if I click create, uh, we'll only be getting long alerts. And if I wanted to only trigger short alerts, I could turn that on there and do the same thing. So I'll leave this video here and go and manage my own trades. But as I mentioned at the start of the video, this lesson is going to go up in my PineScript mastery program. So if you want to learn more about PineScript and you really want to drill down and master this language, head over there, check out my free course. If you like the free course, then I'd love to see you in the mastery course. And if not, it's not a problem Just stick around on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe and hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and good luck with your trading.